now let us discuss about ring counter a ring counter is just like sisvo shift register except only one difference we know about uh, what is sisvo shift register serial in serial out shift register if we take sisvo shift register then the last flip flop will produces serial output whereas in a ring counter output of the last flip flop will be connected to the input to the first flip flop so that is the only difference between a ring counter and sisvo shift register in s in sisvo shift register the last flip flop will produces the output but in ring counter output of the last flip flop will be supplied as input to the first flip flop this is the diagram for a 4 bit ring counter so that's why we have taken the four d flip flops for ring counter it is better to take a d flip flop with the help of d flip flop we can store some data so here the inputs of the flip flops are d0 d1 d2 d3 whereas outputs of the flip flop are q0 q1 q2 and q3 here output of the first flip flop that is q0 will be connected as input to the second flip flop likewise output of the second flip flop is connected as input to the third flip flop whereas the output of last flip flop will be connected as input to the first flip flop here it is just like a, in circular fashion it is just like a ring so that's why it is named as a ring counter here this is nothing but clock pulse a same clock pulse will be applied on all the flip flops so we can say that ring counter is an application of synchronous counter so synchronous counter means same clock pulse will be applied on all the flip flops okay uh, now let's take an example here ring counter means uh, the ring counter is initialized with a single one and remaining zeros so we have to initialize ring counter with a single one so remaining bits as zeros so here what is the here the outputs are q0 q1 q2 q3 so initially let the values are what is q0 value 1 next here d1 value is 0 so uh, the second flip flop is producing q1 as the output so that means the zero only next here what is the input 0 so output is this input only so 1 3 0 is the input now let us apply the first clock pulse so in the first clock pulse what will happen what will happen here this one will be shifted one position to the right okay we are supplying output of uh, the first flip flop as input to the next flip flop so this one will be shifted here this one will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted here next output of the last flip flop will be connected as input to the first flip flop so this so this zero will be shifted here so 0 1 0 0 after first clock pulse now let us apply second clock pulse so what will happen this zero will be shifted here next this one will be shifted here next this one will be this zero will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted here next let us apply the third clock pulse what will happen this zero will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted here next this one will be shifted here what is the output of the last flip flop zero so this zero will be shifted here next let us apply the fourth clock pulse fourth clock pulse so what will happen this one will be shifted here so this one will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here if we see here after four clock pulses we got one triple zero what is the initial initial uh, uh, initial register content here 1 triple 0 so after four clock pulses we got 1 triple 
so here the point is for an n bit ring counter the register content will be repeated after n clock pulses so let us assume that this is a 4 bit ring counter so we got the same content what is the initial content 1 3 bull 0 we got the same content in the register we got the same content in the flip flops after how many clock pulses 4 clock pulses so that's why we can call this as mod n counter so in the examination if the question is given on mod n counter or mod k counter then you can explain about ring counter only so why it is called as mod k counter why because after for a k bit ring counter after k clock pulses the register content will be repeated same so that's why this can also be called as mod n or mod k counter so this is about what is a ring counter